How's it going, everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech. So over the past few years, we have seen quite a few new ultra light weight gaming mice come to the market, with every manufacturer just trying to beat out the others by just scraping off just a tiny bit of extra grams to make it even lighter. Now, me personally, I don't really mind not using like ultra lightweight mice. Usually, I like it between like 70 to 90 grams. That's perfect for me however for my lovely editor Juan uh, he actually likes to have it as light as possible so it was up to him to test out the new MM720 from a Cooler Monster now currently he's actually using the MM710 or 711 depending on where it is at home or at work and the advantages of a more lightweight gaming mice is that it does put less stress on your wrist especially if you have broken it a be a four like he has so uh, that does help up with that and of course then will accuracy as well so will the mm720 replace his mm711 well let's find out stay tuned till the end of the video to find out why surfshark is one of the best value for money vpns and how you could save up to 83 percent on a two-year plan plus three months absolutely three and then also a 30-day money-back guarantee which is just a crazy so stay tuned for that now the mms 720 is quite a bit of a fat boy However, don't let that fool you because it actually only weighs in at 49 grams, which is 11 grams less than the quite a bit larger MM711 at 60 grams. Now, that 11 grams might not really sound like that much, but it's actually a 20% decrease in weight. That's seriously impressive, especially considering that this mouse is also cheaper where it only is retailing for around 50 dollars and at the time of the recording you could actually get it for around 45 dollars on a special now here in south africa is also not a bad at all retailing for 750 rand which is a very competitive so a good option now the white is also quite a bit of a brave color to choose from as your hands are quite a bit filthy and it won't stay white for too long now i do also personally do like the white because it fits in with the rest of my setup but there are some drawbacks now luckily you do also get a black version as well and each color scheme does also come with different materials either like glossy or a matte finish if the design does look familiar it's because the mm720 is designed after cooler monsters a spawn mouse that came out back in 2011 which feels like a decade ago that's pretty much a decade yeah <laughs> and the redesign of uh, that the hornet which were both a fan of favorites and made a really good uh, claw grip uh, mice however unfortunately i wasn't able to test either of them so that's a bit sad <laughs> now as for the shape it does have quite a bit a shorter uh, palm uh, section compared to some of the other uh, mice with the cooler monster logo right there uh, lighting up with the rgb uh, goodness it kind of looks like it's suspending there in the air which yeah it looks pretty cool now you do also of course uh, get the ring finger placement right here on the right side which does add extra comfort and uh, support depending if you of course like that but because of that of course, it's not going to be necessary for lefties, unfortunately. The left and the right buttons do also have a very nice indent to keep your fingers in a place for long sessions. And now because of the size of the mouse and how your hand sits in it, you might actually lose a bit of a grip. So that's also another reason for the more glossy finish, as apparently it does add a bit more grip compared to the matte finish. But luckily, Cool Monster did also include some grip tape with the mouse if you don't want to for the more glossy mouse instead now they are black though so depending on if you want to you can stick them on the white mouse it might look cool but it's also going to cover up some of the holes for the rgb so that is a trade-off unfortunately now then we don't live in a 2011 anymore and this time around we have again 
RG B, which looks amazing. Like the MM711, you do get a big RGB areas on the palm rest section, and then also the scroll wheel. It would have been nice if they did give an option without the RG B to save a bit of weight and also potentially a lower cost, but at least it's almost half the weight of the original spawn mouse. Now, controlling all of your RGB is done through Cool Masters Master Plus uh, Plus software. Plus Plus. Here you can select your DPI settings for each level. You can even turn them off if you don't need all seven. You can also change the switch reaction time, although I don't know why you would take that higher, we'll just keep it as low as possible, and then just a bunch of other things as well. Now the weight reduction is all thanks to the way they use the honey coma cutout on the mouse. So it is now a bit smaller, but it does have more holes as well. Also the plastic does seem a bit thinner than the MM711. Now the MM711, MMMMM, there's a lot of MMs, the MM711 does creak a bit when you do press on it hard, whereas the MM720 does not have that much strange crackling noises, which is nice. It feels a bit more a premium. Although that, again, that wasn't a problem on the, the 711. Now, some of you might think that all of the dirt and dust and everything will get stuck inside all of the holes and just sit inside of the mouse, which will just look horrible. Uh, but luckily, Coolermotor did state that they do spray the PCB with a special dust and water resistant coating, which will prevent accidental spills and dust bunnies and all of that uh, from actually doing damage on the, the mouse. It does have a IP58 water and dust resistant certification, which means you can actually dunk it in a water to clean it off. However, I'm not sure how much you can really do that. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily try it out. Cooler Master also states that if you just take care of the mouse, then that shouldn't be a problem. But if, it, if you want to clean, you can just take like a, a toothbrush make it a bit wet and then clean it out like that and that should be enough. Now the mouse accord is the same design from the 711 and the 710 and one of my favorite features on these mice. But to be completely honest, it does actually feel a bit heavier on the 720. And I, that might be because the mouse is also quite a bit lighter where the cable actually feels a bit heavier, but it also feels a bit more stiff. Now that could also just be a me, but we did compare it to some of the other mice and they do feel very similar, but again, a bit more stiff on this one. But that could also be due to uh, these or the other ones we're actually been using for a bit longer a period of time so it might stretch out or flex out uh, after a bit more use cases. Now something new is the switches used on the 720. The left and the right mouse clicks are now actually a MK optical micro switch and not a conventional mechanical switch. So instead of you getting a 50 million click life cycle now you get a whopping 70 million clicks. Whoop de doo. <laughs> now this also just means that the durability is a bit better and then also the clicks are more accurate because it uses a light instead of normal mechanical actuation. Now the bottom is a bit wiggly but nothing that was really too bothersome and the clicks were also quite light but not too light that you would actually miss a click or anything and the travel distance was also very good. Now you won't miss any shots with this mouse that's actually for sure. Now we couldn't really tell the difference between the other mechanical mouse buttons and the 720 it actually felt very similar except the 720 did feel a bit lighter a bit slightly a bit lighter but that's also where it kind of ends looking for a vpn but want to pay a less and get even more features well surfshark is the vpn to get i've been using them for more than a year now and i'm definitely not disappointed surfshark has over 3200 servers with a limited speed drops unlike some others get all of the standard advantages of a vpn like no geo restrictions to access us and netflix from different countries no government 
government restrictions on news and get a better prices on a flights, games, and a software. Not only that, but Surfshark features industry-leading encryption, multi-hopping for a next-level privacy, a kill switch to prevent any personal information from being leaked, and one of my favorite features, unlimited devices. So you can use Surfshark for the entire family on everybody's device without needing to pay for an extra account. So follow my link below to save 83% on a two-year plan with an extra three months absolutely free. Try it out, and if you don't like it, you do have a 30-day money-back guarantee absolutely free. Now, you do also get a two side buttons, which are programmable to whatever you want. They are also positioned very well and are actually very smooth and comfortable to press, being a little stiffer than the left and right mouse buttons, but also not too stiff. The scroll wheel is kind of see-through rubber, and you'll be able to see all of the RGB, and it has pretty accurate steps, but honestly, nothing two really different here compared to a lot of other mice on the market. Now then, moving underneath the mouse, this is again is still one of my favorite, favorite features, and luckily that they didn't remove that, and that is the glider feet. They still use the same PTFE material for these ones, which does make the mouse feel like it's just floating on your mouse pad. The 720 has one a big one at the front and then a smaller one towards the back. They also do include some additional fit if you do want to change them in a couple of years at time or if you just mess them up entirely. Now, the mouse sensor use is still one of the best ones on the market. The Pixar the PWM3389 optical sensor with a 7 DPI levels, a 400 IPS tracking speed, and a polling rate of 1000 Hz. Now, you do also have a liftoff distance of 2 millimeters and 50 G mass acceleration. Now, it might not have any 8000 Hz polling rate or something crazy like that, but honestly, the 1000 Hz polling rate is plenty of enough, and we've been using it for such a long time. Um, honestly, nowadays, Comfort and usability is the biggest thing to uh, worse than the mouse, which will make it better for you. So just get a mouse that is comfortable in your hand. Now, gaming was a very enjoyable with both Erwan and I having no missed clicks or missed shots that was because of the mouse, not just because we sucked. And also flick shots was very uh, nice with the more lightweight Licking. Now, even after a long gaming session, Ron had no restraint and his arms didn't feel fatigued at all. Now, that's one of the main features of the lightweight mice. It does make gaming more enjoyable and easy, and that's what the 720 accomplishes. It's very smooth, and you'll barely notice that uh, if you do have the mouse in your hand. Now, to end it all off with the MMS 720, I found to be a great budget-friendly, a small, comfortable, lightweight a mouse that Ruan also said is one of his new favorite mice currently available. But that's if you do enjoy more lightweight mice. If you haven't used one before, try it out first and see how it feels. But for those who enjoy light mice, this is definitely a one to buy. And Ruan said he'll probably swap it out with his 711 with the 720 so it's actually really good especially considering the price point for here in south africa 750 rand that's honestly not bad at all so that's pretty much it thanks for watching guys if you did enjoy please like share comment comment like always a big thanks to cool monsters of africa for sending the 720 and just all the other mice over as well so shout out to them but anyway thanks for watching guys and i'll check all of you next time cheers guys